seems to me that Saquon Barkley fits that from all the scouting reports I've read, from all the film I've watched. Bigger Barry Sanders doesn't seem like it's unfair to call him. And then, like you mentioned, Pat Shermer, the bell cow breeder. I wrote an article about him and his history. You outlined all the stats that I already used in that article. Right. So thanks for making my job easy on the interview here. I mean, he's it's a perfect fit for a versatile talent like that. Uh, ideal fit of volume, ideal fit of talent, and then the surrounding talent is good enough when you got, you know, Odell Beckham, obviously very explosive on the outside, one of the best receivers in the game, plus Sterling Shepard, Evan Ingram. So great weapons in the sense that you can't, what you did at Penn State, make him just the focal point of your defense in Saquon Barkley, uh, but not so explosive with Eli Manning as your aging quarterback that it's going to be an aerial show. They've already said they wanted to become a more physical, run-heavy team. So it's kind of the, the perfect blend of enough talent to move the ball, get him into the red zone, but not to siphon more than, you know, he'll still gets 25 30 touches a game in this Shermer based offense so the only real risk is like you mentioned is he going to be trying to break that home run every time and then not translate on an NFL field I don't see it as a huge risk though I think he's an absolute monster the scheme everything's just a perfect fit when we grade him in our fantasy stock formula so in that case I'm putting him above guys like David Johnson and Alvin Kamara which I know is insane and that's probably who some of the guys you have above him who are your uh, four guys I mean, above him Wolf? who are your four else? guys above him who are your four yeah, guys who do you above, have him? above him no, who do you have? Who are your four? You who am I four? Yeah. Antonio Brown, Zeke Elliott, Le'Veon Bell, Todd Gurley. Those are like the four non-negotiables. And then I have like a, a tier talent tier two where he's the top of it, Saquon Barkley, alongside Alvin Kamara, David Johnson, and DeAndre Hopkins. That's a tier to me as well. And, and then from there, it becomes a lot less clear. But 